Some people say that whoever has the most grand slams is automatically the greatest tennis player of all time. And those people are wrong for two reasons. Number one, there are many important statistics in the GOAT debate and Grand Slam record is only one of them. And number two, not every Grand Slam has the same degree of difficulty. Not all slams are created equal. It all depends on the strength of the opponents that the winner had to face. And this is exactly what we're going to analyze in this video. We're going to answer the question, which one of the big three had the toughest path to his Grand Slam titles? But how do we do this? Which statistics should we look at? Luckily, somebody did the homework for us. In 2017, French sports magazine L'Equipe published an article in which they used eight different statistics to figure out which one of the big three had the toughest opponents in their Grand Slam victories. In this video, we will go over those same eight statistics updated to present time and at the end of the video, I will add two bonus statistics to make it an even 10. So let's get to it. Number one, most Grand Slams won without facing a top 10 player in the final. Feather has four, Nadal three, and Djokovic only won. The only time Djokovic won a Grand Slam without facing a top 10 opponent in the final was 2008 Australian Open when he beat the unseeded Joe Wilfred Tsonga. This was also Djokovic's first career Grand Slam. Number two, most Grand Slams won when facing only one top 10 player in the whole tournament. Nadal has six, Federer five, and Djokovic only four. Number three, most Slams won without beating a single top five player. Federer has four, while Nadal and Djokovic both have only one. The only time Nadal won a Grand Slam without facing a single top 5 player was 2017 US Open when his highest ranked opponent was number 24 seed Juan Martin del Potro in the semifinals. And the only time Djokovic has done it is 2021 Wimbledon when his highest ranked opponent was number 7 seed Matteo Berrettini in the final. Number 4. Most slams won with beating at least 3 top 5 players. Federer and Nadal have both achieved this once and Djokovic has done it two times. Number five, record of top 10 players beaten in the same slam. Nadal and Djokovic have three, while Federer holds the record with four top 10 players beaten in the same Grand Slam. Federer set this record in 2017 Australian Open when he defeated Burdich, Nishikori, Wawrinka and Nadal on the way to the title, all of whom were ranked in the top 10. Number 6. Record of top 5 players beaten in the same slam. All three of them have the same record of three top 5 players beaten in the same Grand Slam. Federer set his record in 2007 US Open by defeating Rodic, Davidenko and Djokovic. Nadal in 2011 French Open when he beat Soderling, Murray and Federer and Djokovic has done it twice. In 2012 Australian Open when he beat Ferrer, Murray and Nadal and in 2013 Australian Open when he beat Birdie, Ferrer and Murray. Number 7. Most slams won without beating at least one of the other three Big Four members. Big Four is of course the Big Three plus Andy Murray who also achieved number one ranking in this era. So who won the most slams without having to beat at least one of the other three guys? Federer has 13, Nadal 5 and Djokovic only 3. The only 3 slams that Djokovic has won without having to play against Federer, Nadal or Murray are 2018 US Open when he beat Del Potro in the final, 2021 Australian when he beat Zverev and Medvedev on the road to the title and 2021 Wimbledon when he beat Shapovalov and Berrettini. And finally number 8. Percentage of matches from the quarterfinals against non top 10 players. This might be the most telling stat of all because it looks at the ranking of all 3 opponents faced in quarterfinals, semifinals and finals. Keep in mind that the smaller percentage means more difficult opponents. Nadal has 38.3%, Federer 31.7% and Djokovic 30%. This means that Djokovic has had the most difficult draw between the three players as 70% of his opponents in quarterfinals, semis and finals were top 10 players. So now that we looked at all 8 stats, how does it all add up? Which player had the toughest path to his Grand Slams? When all 8 stats are considered, Federer leads in one category and is tied for the lead in one more, which gives him a total of 2 stats in which he is on top. Nadal does not lead in any of the stats and is tied for the lead in two, and Djokovic leads in five categories and is the co-leader in two more, giving him a total of seven out of the eight stats in which he is on top. So by count alone, it is obvious that Djokovic has had the toughest path to his Grand Slams. But maybe even more importantly, Djokovic is the sole leader in the most important statistics. He has had the toughest opponents from quarterfinals to finals with only 30% of opponents outside of top 10. He won only three slams without beating Feather, Nadal or Murray. He won only one slam without facing a top 10 opponent in the final and he won only one slam without beating at least one top 5 opponent. 
the only statistic in which Djokovic is not the leader is Federer's record of 4 top 10 opponents beaten in a single slam, but that is arguably the least important of the 8 stats because it is a single slam record. I mentioned earlier that these 8 stats were originally published in L'Equipe in 2017, and although the numbers were slightly different back then, the article conclusion was the same, quote, looking at the average ranking of the opponents faced by these players, Djokovic is number 1, Nadal number 2, and Federer number 3. Now, I know that 2 out of 3 tennis fans will not like these findings and will try to find a flaw within these stats. And while I think that these 8 stats provide plenty of different perspectives to get to the truth, I came up with a couple more to make it an even 10. As promised, here are the two bonus stats. Number 9. Percentage of matches from the quarterfinals against non-top 5 players. This is the same stat as number 8, only this time we are asking how many opponents in quarters, semis and finals were outside of top 5 instead of outside of top 10. Once again, the smaller percentage means more difficult opponents. Federer has 65%, Nadal 56.7%, and Djokovic only 51.7%. So in addition to playing the highest percentage of top 10 opponents as we have seen earlier, Djokovic has also played the highest percentage of top 5 players. And lastly, number 10. For the last stat, I wanted to look at something other than opponent ranking. So I figured that the most difficult opponents are those who can win slams, and even more difficult, those who can do it more than once. So the last stat is most slams won without facing a multiple slam winner in the final. Federer has 10, Nadal 8 and Djokovic only 7. And there you have it. Out of the 10 statistics used to determine the difficulty of opponents, Djokovic leads in 9 of them. And the answer to our question is that out of the big 3, Novak has by far had the toughest path to his Grand Slams. And this makes sense, because Djokovic emerged in the decade of 2010s when Federer and Nadal were already established players and slam winners like Murray, Wawrinka and Del Potro also entered their primes. Until next time, if there is a next time, Dovijenia.